Today in the livestock market, cattle did drop. That's day eight of lower prices. I think it's touching some uh, price uh, numbers that we haven't seen since early in January. It just seems that the market has been unable to rebound. Uh, even though box beef prices have been kind of mixed, the momentum to the downside seems overdone, but it is very, very heavy still. Uh, perhaps the uh, grain rally today just, you know, added to the uh, the demise of the market right now. Feeders also are falling. Uh, lower cash prices, you know, may become a reality, and that has feedlot managers a little bit nervous, and they seem to be uh, moving cattle a little bit uh, at a quicker pace. Uh, consumer demand is just not enough to uh, offset uh, the the falling market right now. It's a little bit of a surprise. Uh, we would have thought that maybe uh, the demand, the strength of the demand that we have right now would be enough, but it just seems like when the market gets a little bit momentum, it continues to push it uh, lower and lower, kind of regardless of uh, what the fundamentals say. So we've got to watch that. And if the grain market continues to rally, it's going to add an awful lot of pressure, uh, at least on the on the beef complex side of the livestock, because uh, hogs is just a you know a whole nother situation. It did rebound today. Uh, demand just remains strong. Uh, packers are aggressive again. Higher cash prices, higher cutoffs, uh, our cutouts are are still very very strong the trend is still up I think but uh, of course we're in overbought conditions uh, that's something to watch and that's what we thought of on Friday when the market uh, fell but that rebound maybe was a little bit of a tell of what was going to happen today and that's why we started to move higher now keep in mind that the uh, China production numbers came out uh, and they're up 31 percent in pork production and uh, replenishing the herd is up 29 percent those are numbers that normally would be bearish on this market and kind of just uh it seems like traders have kind of shrugged it off uh, that being said we are kind of at a tippy top number but we haven't gotten to like the all-time high that we were looking at uh at uh you know a buck 33 so we're a ways away from that uh, however there is still some questions and as we move further and further into grilling season if the demand continues to be strong you know it's very difficult to bet against the hogs these days so uh i'm still uh you know i'm, I'm still on the sideline watching that one Thank <laughs> you.